for GG Radio. Welcome to 2D Wednesday, 2D Tuesday Wednesday edition. 2D Tuesday, Kelly is sick and can barely talk, so I'm flying solo. And I was too tired to do it on the night I was supposed to. Stop looking at me that way. Thankfully, her eyes still work, so she can give me a uh, knowing glare. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm I'm talking about her glare is probably a mean description. It's not a glare. It's just a, a friendly look. Anyway, uh, tonight I'm gonna be playing a little bit of this little number. It is called Not Tonight. It is very much in the vein of a Papers Please, a indie game that is. The gameplay itself is primarily about. Uh, it's kind of like spotting the difference or like spotting errors on things. It's it's very like, you, you know like in grade school or middle school where they'd have those sort of logic puzzles or uh, things along that nature. That's meant to test your brain a little bit and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of in that vein. Except here, the premise is that you are a uh, non-British citizen living in the UK and just like real life uh, Brexit has passed we are in a post Brexit world and in this case what is going on is that we are talking about being this non-citizen who has been rounded up in these sort of dilapidated houses and required to work a certain amount to get a work permit to be able to allow to be able to stay in the country and there's sort of a meta story going not even really meta uh, a story going on in the backdrop about how you are trying to survive this and being oppressed while at the same time little leaps out about this uh, revolutionary group trying to sort of take back control of things or at least to find a means to fight back from this uh, Brexit nightmare, dystopian nightmare they've got going on. So, just to give you a quick review here, this bouncer app is where you take jobs, you have to take jobs to make money to afford the things you need. Uh, game start off pretty simple actually, where you're basically just taking jobs and you only had one goal, which was to pay off money for your visa. And since then, they have added certain things like a billing system where they'll add bills every month like utilities and rent and stuff. Uh, the shopping app that lets you buy accessories and things for your house or your person. Or uh, these things which are supposed to be drugs of some kind. And then uh, they just gave me this one, uh, Metter. So now I get to monitor my health. And... Uh, the name of the game here really is continuing to do these remedial tasks while monitoring all these different little meters and trying to survive. Uh, so part of it is trying to make sure you have the money to pay for things so you don't get evicted and kicked out of the country. Part of it is uh, this Meter app, which, uh, as you can see, my health is not doing great, uh, partially because I am overworked if you looked at my description here. Uh, I sh should probably take a day off, but uh, the problem is that if I take a day off work, as you can see, skipping work decreases your social credit score. Except in these cases, missing limb, active volcano, and biological attack. And then if you get a bad enough social credit score, I think they can kick you out of the country as well. So, uh, they're really winnowing, they're really, uh, you know, just continuing to put me to the screws here and really just tightening that clamp around my head. Uh, I don't think I can afford to take a day off work yet, despite it hurting my health. So we're going to go ahead and do the next job. Uh, this is going to be at a nightclub called the Teen's Head, and here we are talking about... Uh, worked for this nightclub and it is just been torn to shreds because somebody bombed it hey Brock uh, not tonight a marriage story uh, 
I wish you were the first one that I <laughs> saw read that before. But uh, while clever, it is not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> All right. So right now, this is the owner of the club that got blown up. Uh, Viklav is this migrant that was with you that ended up getting arrested for the bombing and he is trying to raise money for him for a legal defense so this is how it starts probably to be doing a little bit less talking while actually bouncing because I'm gonna be honest I'm not the greatest at this uh, so what happens is these jobs usually start pretty easy, but then they add into Bletsy. Uh A fun wrinkle right now is that I'm not allowed to let certain nationalities in to the club. So that's where we're at. Okay. No, Dalahad. Got the wrong nationality. Oh, fine. I'll take your... He's offering a bribe. I'm going to take the bribe just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to get a warning for letting that person in because it was from a banned country. So right now we got to check nationality, date of birth, make sure they're of age, and then make sure they're not expired and that their face profile matches. Oh, also I need to stand for weapons, which is another cool addition. Yeah, you know, they're really kind of ratcheting up the potential future kind of thing here. No, go in your own club, dude. Let me do my job. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. You're wasting my time, bro. Okay. Yeah, Brock, that was actually... I don't want to call it a grievance, but something that I struggled with a little bit just because... Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about a game trying to cover such a recent event. And it's not so much that I think it's anything wrong with it, but then my my tendency is to like scrutinize if it feels true to form, you know. And I, it's not like this kind of stuff hasn't happened before. It's not like this kind of stuff isn't technically happening happening in our country right now, even in some way or fashion. It's just. Uh, you know, need to sort of check myself a little bit. You know, just because it's not something that my experience has been doesn't mean that it isn't somebody's experience. Right nationality. That just sounds awful just saying that. Okay, no weapon on you. You seem okay. Oh, I don't even have to stand.
Oof. That was a close one. New episode when you guys talked about like light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's what happens when Alex tries to make uh, hitting on the news a thing. And then also not being mindful of what kind of age range it's, that sounds like they're talking about. So. Yeah, it was a trip recording it too. Hartwood's always full of high energy. Uh, we all got a little bit loud. Kelly complained a little bit uh, <laughs> about being being too loud last recording. Uh, thanks, thanks. I, uh, I feel like we are getting better as we go along, although it's it's gradual. So we'll we'll keep going and see how it goes here. But all right, how am I doing? Ooh, down to fifty nine. I think I'm going to need to skip a day because my health is in worse shape than my social credit. So, we're going to go ahead and skip and take a rest. Okay, who am I in trouble with now? Selfie man. What is selfie man? I guess they try. They gotta try and find a way to modernize some of these horror movies. It's I forgot what. There was another one like that where it was like a social media thing. I can't remember the name of it though. All right. So, if it wasn't Stevie before. The security officer is sort of your uh, warden, and he is making you work for his side business in some of these awful regime things. They have you working a border crossing thing, and it's, it's very deliberately trying to pull at your feelings a little bit because like when you're playing the bar sequences, it's always a bunch of drunks or low lives trying to like bring weapons in or trying to show up underage or uh, trying to uh, pick fights with stuff and so it's like fine whatever it's not hard to you know be like okay just get out of my way <laughs> I'm trying to do my job but then they go to these sections with the officer and it's always like people who are clearly just trying to escape bad situations and being turned away because they don't have the right documentation or the right stamps or stuff like that and okay Visas and tickets. No mime. No mime artists. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, 
I don't maybe it was unfriended. I I don't recall, but That's the only one out of those that rings a bell at the moment. Some weird discrimination there, but okay. <laughs> You get later on in the level so far, they add just another layer, time after time, to make it tougher, because you're having to vet everybody for these three, four, five, six, seven different things, and it's like your eyes are darting back and forth between the screen, you're having to check the person's face to make sure it's actually them, and, uh... It just gets kind of hectic, especially as you're trying to, like, they usually want you to get, like, 20-plus people through at a time in order to get big bucks for the jobs you're doing, too. So it, it's kind of daunting because every time you're having to ask somebody to come forward, that takes time, and it uh, every second adds up. Oh, no, we watched Slender Man. It was bad. Like, I don't... I, I sat through that and watched it. I couldn't remember a single thing from it, if you asked me. Other than, uh... Weirdly, weirdly like, uh... It felt like a mashup of a lot of different horror movies instead of it being its own thing. Like, the fact that Slender Man was just this thing that came about on the internet... means that it has no history b to build behind it and it's like the makers of that movie instead of building a narrative to justify slender man as a thing went oh it's just the slender man and then they just stole a bunch of different like horror tropes from different things Yeah, I don't know. I, I, horror movies are something where it... I'm not the biggest horror movie fan anyway. 
which kind of colors my perspective. Like, the my favorite horror movie in recent memory was The Babadook. But even then, like, it wasn't freaked out scary. It was more like dread scary, you know? So, I'm already not the right target market for some of these movies, but... And the other one that I liked a lot was uh, A Quiet Place, but that was more, that was almost more suspense than horror. Okay, what kind of trouble am I in now? Oh boy, all my bills are coming due. <laughs> Anytime you start a sentence with I'm not racist, but you're you're racist. <laughs> I wonder how he must feel now that that's uh, legal in the state. Yep, they legalized dreadlocks in Illinois. I think, uh... I think there's a certain kind of white guy that can get away with dreadlocks. Making this a tough night on me. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you really should. Back to work, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nope, your ID is not valid. You're 
Alright. What do you have? Ooh boy, you're packing. Okay, go away. No. Yeah, I felt kind of called out in this game a little bit as an American. <laughs> like, like part of the difficulty curve is that they add uh, billing for hospital services, and the uh, you as the migrant is asking like, what happened to the NHS? And, and they're like, oh, it got privatized. <laughs> and now here's your hospital bills. It was like, oh god. <laughs> the job. Yep, hate it all you want. Alright, you're good. Uh oh. Okay, I doubt enough to survive. So I'm pretty eager to get past this sort of second act. Because the first act was playing through the month of January, then it was a six month time skip. I suspect maybe they'll do the same thing after this month. Um, if I have one grievance so far, more than anything, it is just that it kind of feels like the story drags along a little bit. And I can't tell if it was an intentional thing to make you feel like you're kind of living through this sort of misery or what, but... Okay, what can I buy now? Huh? What did you want me to buy? No, I don't want the phone skin. Yeah, fine, I'll buy one. Alright, here's my probation officer. Okay, thanks. Alright. Let's see what fresh hell waits us here. The Indie Fest. This is my kind of jam. Stash for it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs>
you seem okay. What about you? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're cool. Yep, VIP time. Yep. Go right ahead. Yep, you're okay. Let's see, you're fine. You're missing the stamp. Yeah, you're fine. No. Crap. Okay. Wrong day. My bad. No, why don't you have a Raid Shadow Legend sponsor yet? Sounds like something you should get on. Wait, do we have a Raid sponsor? Ah! Yeah, yeah. VIP time. Yep, you're dead. Oh, okay, I'm not I'm not up to speed on the YouTube memers here. Uh, yeah, you're fine. No kidding. No kidding. I'll, I'll take those uh, couple cents uh, a click. <laughs> you see, you're, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to say. That you're saying the quiet part out loud. <laughs> my visitor. Oh, is it this dipshit? Oh, great. Now I'm being blackmailed. That's exactly what I needed. <sighs> okay. Thank you. 
Great. All right. So now I'm being blackmailed. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go to the chain side. Dude, what do we need? Sure. I will take that to her. So freaking weird. Where are we, Wisconsin? Packers game about to break out. Eh, you're not allowed. Thank you. I do, but I can't take it. That's fine. See you later. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. You are not fine. Let's see what that is. Oh, uh, you're fine. Just a phone. Eh, that's not a valid ID. Go away. I did see that there's a new Saw movie on its way. Uh, did I read right that it's... Is it Chris Rock? That's like producing the film or something? You know, say what you will, I about the series. I... I saw the first movie and I I thought it was pretty good. Like not bad at all. Oh, starring directing and starring him. Hmm. That might be interesting. I uh I would be curious to see how that plays out. I I will I will keep an eye on reviews. I, it's again, horror is not my genre anyway, but uh Oh, shut up. At the very least, I would be happy to be pleasantly surprised at a return to form. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even saying that the rest of them were bad. It's just I... I get wary of any series that has, like, more than half a dozen entries in it. So that doesn't help. So I was already predisposed to not really give it a fair shot. <laughs> the Saw Cinematic Universe. The Sawniverse. Nope. No knife. Bye-bye. No. I'm not letting you take a weapon in by bribing me. Go away. Oh. Okay. Spiral. Hmm. No, I saw the first saw, and then I... 
I think after that I saw Hostel, and then Hostel kind of ruined the gross out, grotesque uh, horror movies for me a little bit. There's that scene in Hostel where like he cuts the dude's Achilles tendon and then unties him and lets him walk away, and then of course they show nice and close up like as he stands up and tries to walk the whole like Achilles heel snapping. It's just fucking gross. No bueno. Did not like. Yeah, I think there was some legit spooky stuff in that movie. Yeah, that seems to kind of be the M.O., really. Like, the, the common thing is for a horror movie to have a really good first one, and then them bank off of that good name to send out reiterative junk. Or, I should say, derivative junk. our deal. Okay. Oh, you got lucky, you're right under the buzzer on age. There's a... Okay, you're good. Nope, wrong day for the ticket. Nope. I am Bouncer Man. You've been bounced. You're good. Alright, uh, attend to the VIP. I forgot what the password was. Wanty Donkey. We're gonna say yes, just because I'm not sure if that's the right one. Okay, good. Alright, Thursday. Got that right. Got that right. Oh, oh it's expired. Crap. Uh, you don't have a stamp. are cool. How else are you supposed to be ready for the power ballad? <laughs> Game Boy. Not bad. Wanty Donty. Man, if I ever come up with a new podcast, I want to call it Wanty Donty. Uh, Thursday. Yeah, you're fine. Thursday. Yep, you're good. Yep, you're fine. Thursday. Yep. Alright, my dude. No stamp on your ticket. Sorry. Yes, you are out of here. And now I gotta go. Nope, gotta take care of our VIB. Wanty Donty. Well done. Oh. 
Is that how tank work? Good. Ah, crap. Okay, you don't have a tech yet. Inspired crap. Ah. There you go. Oof. Bad round there. Okay. Eli Roth, who turned to be a real shithead, he directed that movie that was like Cannibal Holocaust, but instead the natives eat a guy's penis? What? That's not real. You're making that up. So part of this is that about halfway through here you get this medical status that you need to track of. As you can see on my phone here, you get sort of like numbers indicating what's helping or hurting your health. So like, you know, if you're hungry, a certain fridge might help. If it's cold, you might be able to install heating. Uh, if you work too many days in a row, your health goes down. But you can also buy stuff that helps you offset some of those things. So, like, hunger is a problem. So I can buy this better fridge, which should help me with my health issues a little more. Great Inferno. I am not going to look that up. I have no interest in that. I mean, now I'm aware of it, so thank you for that, but... Oh, come on, what do you want, dude? I might need to take a day off. My health is in bad shape. There we go. A little bit better. There we go. Bad to work. Bouncing at the Indie Fest.
What are some recent-ish indie bands? My indie band knowledge uh, capped off at about 2007, 2008. So I am very out of touch. It's a cool tractor. Flames and everything. You don't have a valid ID. Go away. Well, so does your ID. Mr. Heli 2. Okay. Oh, I gotta scan you, bro. Yeah, you're good. I am the bouncer. Shit allowed. Get out of here with that. You're good. Alright, what do you want, dude? Go ahead. Alright. What are you? Saturday. Oh. You're a Frenchie. Not allowed. No French steward. Go away. Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Yep, you're fine. Now you. Alright, dude, gotta scan you. Oh, don't even need to scan you. Bad ID. Yeah, you do that. Okay, you're fine. Oh, ball. Come on. Come on. Oh, why, why you gotta do that? Get out here with those weapons. Yep, that's the right password. Go ahead. What are you down on here, dude? Okay, you're dead. What are you doing? Oh, you're you're inspired anyway. Go away. Yeah, well, so do you. I had the second bonus. Oh well.
All right. Where are we at on the calendar? Oof. Yeah, like I've said before, I, I, there are things I liked about this game, but I do have some gripes, including uh, the day. The days do go on slowly for this. also worth noting in this game, each different venue that you bounce for has different expectations. So for this one, they just want ticket holders and valid ID. Other ones want you to stand for weapons and stuff. Uh, Sunday... You know, fine. Seven. And some of them, of course, want you to check for the nationality on the ID and disallow certain nationalities. Um. I do get sort of the sense of like, you know, there, there are a lot of times where games will kind of work to normalize the action you're doing. And so like, through the mundane action of Bar, you know, being a bouncer for a bar, and then things change in your environment in this, and suddenly you're barring people based off of their nationality on their ID and stuff. It, it feels weird to be talking about it casually like this. Even though I understand it's just a game. assume that's kind of the point. You know, trying to sort of show you how fascism can sort of creep in and people become unwitting accomplices to it. At least that's what I'm sort of suspecting the overall lesson of the day is going to be once this is all said and done. And it's worth noting that this will be one of the things we talked about this week on Super GG Radio, the podcast that we operate here. Uh, we'll be recording tomorrow night for that. And Alex is also playing this, so at least two of us will have some things to say about it. I was hoping to get completed with this game prior to that because uh, I'm actually going to be writing the review for Nintendo World Report because I was 
provided a review code from them to do so. But this game turned out to be a little bit longer than I expected. So it could be that my review might not get written up until Friday at this point. did check photos. They're so damn pixelated it's hard to tell. I think we're going to go ahead and call it for the evening. Uh, I've got plenty to play here still, but uh, I think I'm going to just sort of bear down and focus on the game itself and see how close I can get to the end. Uh, thanks to anybody who's been watching tonight. Again, my name is Joel with Super GG Radio, a video game podcast about video game and all things adjacent. We do focus on a lot of uh, indie games as well as playing some alphas and betas and do a bunch of different various topics pertaining to the world of video gaming. Uh, feel free to check us out on any podcast app that you may have. And thanks for listening. Later. <laughs>